Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you the combo tutorial for my updated Dragon Link deck. Um, with my last Dragon Link um, deck, it, you didn't really have to pay close attention to the zones. But with this deck, you need to pay very close attention to where you're putting your cards. Um, especially if you want to start making an Appalooza and stuff like that, otherwise it just will not work at all. And you won't be able to make Appaloosa or anything, and like you'll kind of shut yourself down a little bit. So, it, for like the main combo to make um, Mist Valley and Appaloosa, you just need like a Draken and a Dragon Extender, I believe. But if you want to make anything else, you're going to need like another Summon, so it's like a Quick Launch or um, like Boot Sector if you like discard this and do loads of shit with it. Um, but yeah, let's get into the combo. So you're going to start off by normal summoning Draken and summoning out. Um, Guard Dragon Justicia from the deck. You can put in Gala um, Galaxy Serpent, but I just prefer just Justicia. So I'm gonna link those two away and make Chris on Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax will then summon out um, Tornado um, Tornado from the deck, and then you're gonna link summon, and you're gonna make. Some more bird of sovereignty because black the black wing you summoned is a winged beast, so it allows you to make sovereignty. Next is um, you can activate dragon shrine, and you're gonna want to send um, your world chalice guard dragon to the deck to the graveyard, which then you can banish your world chalice guard dragon and summon out the justicia from your grave. Um, if you have had to go for the sangan um, into arboria. Don't send World Chalice because you probably you definitely won't have this in Grave. So you can send something like a um, you can send Tempest or something like that. It just anything to summon out from the Grave. Um, almost likely you have a different Dragon Extender like Quick Launch, which is a lot better. So next you're gonna link this off and make Guard Dragon LP, and LP will summon out Brotar from the deck. And you'll get Brotar's Effects, pitching just a random card in the hand. We're going to go for Absarada Dragon. And you're going to search Noctivision Dragon. Um, next, you're going to get Absarada's Effects to search just any rocket. So you're going to search out Magna Rocket. Make sure it's a different name from a rocket in your hand. Or if you don't have any other rockets in your hand, just go for a Tracer. That's the best way to... That's the best rocket to add. Um, next, you're going to link Brotar into Pisty, Summon it back. And link it off again, you're going to make Striker Dragon. And Striker Dragon is going to add your Boot Sector Launch from your deck to your hand. And you're also going to be able to summon um, Noctivision Dragon from your hand when Striker Dragon is summoned. Usually you want to do it Noctivision first, then Boot Sector Launch. So this sort of, I believe this blocks this. So this can't be Ashed, which is a little bit nice. But you can probably Ash your Halky Firebrax by now. So there's not really any point to, but you can if you want. Next you're going to link all three of these into a Triple Burst Dragon. Now, I'm running Triple Burst Dragon because obviously you can't summon a non-dragon by using these two as material. Um, so you have to summon a dragon monster if you're linking with LP and Pisty. So this is just a lot better. Then you can activate Quick Launch and just summon any rocket from the deck. Just go for another Tracer if you need, if you want to. And then you can link Noctivision Dragon and Rocket Tracer into your Codebreaker Virus Swordsman. Now you're going to get Virus Swordsman's effect, summon out Codebreaker Zero Day, then you're going to draw because you don't want to draw into Zero Day. We've just got a random Sangan. And then we can link these two off, so I'm just going to put them down there for now, into Virus Berserker. And then Virus Berserker's effect is going to activate, allowing you to summon these two back to Link Zones. Now the reason one of the things that I said about um, this deck is that you need to pay very close attention to zones. Now here's the thing, if you were to summon Sovereignty to this zone, and like do your combo over here, you need Virus Berserk to go here, because it needs to be co-linked to summon it out as monsters. And you're also going to want to summon out Triple Burst Dragon. So if you summon Triple Burst Dragon here, you can only summon one. Again, over here, you can only summon one. But while over here, Triple Burst Dragon's pointing away from Sovereignty, so that way you can then summon one here, and one into triple burster zone. So that's one of the things of being careful of where you're putting your cards. Next, you're just going to link everything away. 
and make your Appaloosa with three cameras. Oh, just dropped my rocket tracer. So next is you activate boot sector launch. Be careful where you place your rocket tracer. Put, you need to put it into triple burst zone. And the reason for that is um, if it's like this, you're going to be linking Magnocket and triple burst away for Griffin. So you won't be able to pop because tra Tracer isn't linked to anything. So because nothing is pointing to Tracer, you now can't activate its effect to summon out another rocket. So it needs to be placed to triple burst zone. Then you can activate Tracer's effect, pop in the boot sector launch. And just summon out the other rocket you didn't add to your hand. So that way you have one in the deck each. And then you can Synchro Summon. For Boralode Savage Dragon. And Boralode Savage Dragon's effect is going to attach your Codebreaker Virus Berserker from your graveyard. That way it basically gives it the Saryuja, um attack boost. But it's just three, three negates instead of four. And now in the end phase, because you only because you're going first, they've got five um, spell and trap card zones open, and you've got four that equals nine. You can now summon a level nine or lower wing wing beast from your deck, and that's going to be Mist Valley Apex Avian. So that's the end board. Um, now I'll explain what everything does. Obviously, this summons out Apex Avian. This is giving you three monster negates. This is just an Omni negate, and Griffin basically says. Um, a special summon monster on the field cannot activate their effects unless they are linked. Now the way I was able to activate Sovereignty's effect is because Appaloosa is pointing to it. Nightmare Griffin is pointing to Appaloosa, so we are able to activate its effects. Um, Griffin is pointing to Savage, so we have to activate its negate. And Sovereignty is pointing to Apex, so we activate able to activate its effect. Now if you're going against Adamant's pair or something and they haven't activated their cards, obviously if they summon out um Halky Firebrax, they can't summon out their tuna. If they summon out if they summon out their Link Cross, they can't activate its effect to summon out tokens. Um because most likely they're not going to be linked, so they're probably going to be in the extra monster zone. So it's a nice little lock that I feel like I should chuck in the deck. Um I might even put it in Shadows if I can find a way to and see if I can just piss about with that. But this was my um combo tutorial for the deck. Um also, if like your Savage gets destroyed, you can just summon out Omni Dragon Brotoff from the graveyard and discard your Sangan or whatever you drew if you didn't use it. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gives a little bit more light to what my new Dragon Link deck does. Um, and I will see you all next time.